Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the video. My name is Bradley, also known as The Swim Coach. Today we're going to be looking at uh, the top performance of midfielders and forwards throughout this season up to game up to game week 29 which we just had um, going into game week 30. So let's get straight into the video um, and the top performance so far for the midfielders is Saka on 178 points. Um, there are a 75% chance that he could be out injured against Man City this weekend. Uh, and then we have the pairing of Song and Salah. So Salah um, and Song both on 168 points. Uh, then we go with Foden on 160 points. And then Bowen on 149. Palmer on 142. And then Douglas Weiss on 137. And then Gross on 132. They are your top performance so far for midfielders. Um, I think it's quite interesting that the there are seventy odd percent people that have got Saka, um, and not going for um, Salah. So that's quite interesting there. Um, but other than that, there's not big standout performance like Palmer and Douglas Weiss, Very good on keeping the cost down. Um, so you could probably get someone like. Uh, song in your team as a midfielder or potentially getting a, a higher paid striker in your team um, and then we go with like someone like uh, Gordon on 6 mil so again those three there we're talking about no more than 18 million so there's a good percentage of money that you could be saving and getting a lot of points out of it as well and then you go to the midfield pairing of uh, Odegaard and Rice. Um, so 16% of the people that have got Odegaard, only 5% have got Rice. So that could be something everyone looking at for future games. Uh, then you've got Wall Prowse and um, Bale. Bale. I, can, I can never pronounce the name. I'm very bad with names, so I do apologise. Havertz, Havertz is a surprising one up there. Um, recent, recent form as well. Um, so that's something quite nice. And then you've got Rodrigo, I think 5.6 uh, mil as well. Uh, only 5% people. So again, like um, Havertz, only 3%. So there are things that everyone out there, you've got to look at where you're going to get your extra points over the next few games as well, a few weeks. Um, looking at future games, planning on games where you could probably start selecting certain players ready for double week games in three, four weeks' time. Um, so, yeah, so have a look at future planning as well. Uh, let's go to the midfield uh, forwards now. Uh, Ollie Watkins, uh, 9 mil, 55% of people that got, got him. Uh, Harland up there at um, seventy-one percent of people going, but he is fourteen point three million. Um, so there are things as well. Solanke um, at seven point two million, twenty-eight percent of people got him. Um, so if you go Solanke and Watkins as your mid, as your forwards, you're almost up at three hundred. Over three hundred points just with them those two players alone, and you're only probably you're only spending seventeen million. Um, so that's something that everyone out there you've got to look at. Morris, even like if you have Watkins and Morris, that's less than um Harland, and you're in a lot more um plans of getting better players for other. Uh, positions there's something out there i think everyone's got to look at um i knew these two players here both of them 75 percent chance of playing this week so have a little look um and then have a look at players that are playing games would only nine percent 4.8 million it could be a bit of a steal on something where you can potentially maybe um 
have a stronger midfield than a, um, a stronger attack. There's things out there that everyone, you've got to look at. Think about who's playing who over the next few weeks and plan about it. And again, preparing for game week 34 and 35, I believe it is, because uh, they're going to be busy weeks coming up with some teams playing double, double, double games. Um, so they're the things you've got to look at. Now, even if you look at, say, the league table, if I can just find the league table. Oh. Um, for someone like Liverpool, Arsenal, Liverpool, Man City, have all got a game in hand of, of uh, Aston Villa. There's going to be where there's going to be that double week. Now, also with teams playing the FA Cup semi-final games, they're going to be missing one of the weeks. So they're going to come into a double uh, week lot as well. So hopefully everyone out there looks and plans of what they want to do over the next few weeks planning for those other games. Um, everyone's played, look, even Chelsea, they're 27 games. The Chelsea have got to have an, more games than everyone else. Um, they're going to have a more double double games than everyone else. Everyone else is on 29, 28 games. Um, so everyone, please plan and have a look at games that everyone's going to play over the next few weeks and adjust your teams that you may get extra points throughout. And I think double weeks is going to be very interesting for if you've still got your bench boost or your triple captain. Um, I think I've still got my triple captain and my bench boost. Um, let's just have a little look, actually. I think I still do. Um, actually, I don't want to show you because that would be for my next video. Um, so on that note, I hope you enjoy yourselves and good luck for this weekend. And if you're still available to join my fantasy football league, please feel free to. Um, so far, there's only two members, me and one other player. Um, so if you want to join, please join. It's free to join. I don't mind. It's all about having a bit of fun. Um, and potentially next year, I may add some other things to it. Okay. So good luck. And I'll catch you on the next video. Goodbye from now.